Hey, it has been a while since we last spoke. So what's been going on? Where have I been? What's been going on? Why have there been no videos on this channel? Those are all good questions and there are good answers to those things. So it has been a little while since my last video. And part of that is because I did a sensible thing that I have not done very much in my life, which is I took a really good holiday and it was amazing. But I've been doing other stuff too. Now, I have been trying to vlog when I travel, but it turns out that work often gets in the way and I'll give you an example of that. Um, not too long ago, I had a kind of manic six day trip that covered Shanghai, Hong Kong uh, and Jakarta. And it was a little bit too much, it was quite intense. And as part of that, I was in Hong Kong for a little bit and I tried to vlog that, which I'll show you in a second. And in the end, just the day got so carried away by the time the workshop happened, I was late to the airport, that kind of stuff just fell by the wayside. So here you go, here's a little snippet from that trip. Here is my experience or part of it in Hong Kong. So it's 3 a.m. I've just arrived in Hong Kong, somewhat delayed, and I leave at 7 p.m. tonight, so I have 16 hours in Hong Kong. So this is gonna be 16 hours in Hong Kong. sympathy upgrade from the nice people in the reception and I'm not feeling the best right now you know I was in Shanghai for like maybe a day and flying from London delayed getting out of there to here so um, yeah the jet lag is going to suck tomorrow but I get to see Hong Kong and I've never I've never gotten to see Hong Kong before it's always been a thing for me my dad lived here uh, after the Second World War he was super young he fought in the Second World War and afterwards he stayed in Hong Kong for a number of years and so I've always kind of wanted to come and see it just for that kind of moment of contact, I guess. Which isn't really relevant to coffee, but you know, it's the truth. All right, it's, it's time for bed. It's about 9 a.m. I guess I should probably get on with the day, go meet life and go and get some coffee. It is sometimes difficult to keep the motivation and keep remembering to capture stuff as you travel, especially when it's super intense. Again, I went to Oslo not long after that to promote the Norwegian version of my book coming out. And that was fun. I grabbed some little pieces of my time in Oslo, which I'm gonna show you now. Good morning, today I am in Oslo and I'm here for the launch of uh, the Atlas in Norwegian, which is kind of exciting. I'm, I'm a little bit under the weather, I think I've traveled too much, you know, kind of run myself down a little bit, but I have a couple of hours this morning before interviews start, so I'm probably going to grab some breakfast and go and find something delicious to drink. <laughs> Okay, so I came back to the hotel to find that the journalist I was supposed to speak to has had to go to Germany, which is fine. Uh, it means I have some free time now, so I'm gonna head somewhere I haven't been for maybe 10 years, maybe less. Uh, a little espresso bar called Java, or Java, but I presume Java.
So that was pretty amazing because that coffee bar celebrates its 20th anniversary this year. And it looks brand new, like it looks fresh and clean. It serves delicious coffee, everyone's lovely. 20 years. That's amazing, and for you know context, Tim Wendelbow, his cafe is 10 years old this year. So that just blows my mind. So this is the venue for today, uh, Espresso Specialists, here in uh, Oslo, which is a pretty beautiful space to work in. And uh, I'm going to be talking here, Tim Wendelbo is going to serve some coffee, it should be fun, and uh, looking forward to the first presentation of the day. Day two, so I have a little spare time this morning, so I'm going to go and check out some more shops. Oh, it's David. He's coming with Hello. me. Hi. And again, that's, that's not the whole story. That's not everything that happened. And I, I think I'm just not motivated to kind of make films about what I'm doing as much because I don't hugely enjoy putting a camera between me and the experience as much as I thought I would or did. And I still want to make films. I still want to make videos. I still want to do a lot. And there's some good news there. Not only is this the first of three videos going out this week, uh, but I am taking a little studio space. Now this is part of some other plans and projects and that kind of stuff, but I'll be taking a space where I can set up a permanent little space to shoot video, a permanent little space to record audio, so expect some podcasts to come back, and I'll be able to be a little bit more productive. Sometimes it's hard to find space and time to set up a little rig and shoot, and frankly, this isn't the greatest environment to shoot in. It's noisy, it's echoey, it's hard to light. So I'm kind of excited about getting my hands on a space that I can make into something uh, purposeful and useful and kind of custom around what I want to make and the films I want to shoot. There's two or three things lined up already that I want to shoot once I'm in, so expect more videos, expect more podcasts. So that's, that's my news. I haven't fallen off, I haven't stopped making videos for this channel. There'll be another video tomorrow and another one the day after that. Uh, and then as soon as I'm into the space, I'll be shooting more regularly and getting more videos out there that I hope will look better, sound better, be more enjoyable to watch, more Q&As, more instructional stuff, uh, more little films about stuff I think is interesting and worth talking about in coffee. I'm enjoying the process of learning and trying to do more, so uh, expect, I hope, more. All right. Uh, Please subscribe, there's some cool stuff coming I don't want you to miss, and uh, have a great day. Go drink some delicious coffee and, and you know, have some fun. Unless it's like like midnight, don't, don't drink coffee then, but you know, otherwise, coffee.